Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingzer here and welcome back to a brand new video and this is going to be sort of like a squad builder but it is also going to be around one in particular player and that is going to be the chief Zlatan Ibrahimovic. You guys might have guessed it already, it's this guy, Al Sommer. Four star skill moves, four star week for six foot four. Just look at those stats, guys. He's ridiculous. And if we take a look at his in-game stats, it just gets better. I'll put them on screen for you guys now. Um, I'll probably put them on with a basic chemistry style. I only just put the catalyst on him. Um, so I'm going into divisions with him, and I want him to have a little bit more pace. But yeah, just a ridiculous player. Like, just look at him, guys. Let's compare him to uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, this is going to be different. Well, it's not going to be different in the sense of it's different, but it's that doesn't make sense. But it's not going to be different... Um, it's going to be different from the cheap Messi video that I did, purely because that's my style of player. That PC agile player is my style, whereas these strong, like, not got so much pace but really good shooting isn't my preferred play style. So I'm not going to do as well with these players. But as you can see, he's got more pace, two less shooting, three less passing. Um, what's that? Three less dribbling. Defending doesn't really matter and one less physical. And I, I'm actually, I'm not too sure who has more in-game stats. It may be Al Sommer, but he's just fantastic. Look at this team as well, guys. Now, we have got two filler players in. We've got Carlos Eduardo and we've got Aseri. This guy's actually not too bad. I quite enjoyed him. I was planning on subbing him off straight away for either Giovinco or Insigne. And uh, what I did, I actually played the team like this. I'd bring him on pretty much in the first 30 minutes, I'd say, and switch it up so the team looked like this. And uh, if, if the right forward I wasn't feeling, I'd probably bring Giovinco on. I was really saving Insigne for like the last couple minutes of the game if I was going down. And uh, the team the team really just worked. But let's put it back together real quick. This is how it actually looks when we go into a game. And as you can see, everyone's on full cam. The team's just ridiculous. This card, here, this card right here, he's fantastic. Roberto Firmino, I used him. He scores an absolute wonder goal. It was against Neuer as well. Of all goalkeepers, Manuel Neuer, the highest rated uh, regular card on the game goalkeeper wise. And um, yeah, he just scored a beautiful finesse shot from like 30 yards. But yeah, this guy here, he's the cheap Zlatan Ibrahimovic. There's no two ways about it. He just is. Um, he's just so good. And well, you guys have already seen his in-game stats. So I'll probably put a comparison now. Because I did have a look on, was it Foothead or something like that? Uh, a comparison between him and Zlatan. And they were very, very similar. If I can remember to put that on screen, I'll put that on screen now. I'm not sure what website I was on. So if not, I'll just have like on Foothead Zlatan's in-game on the left. And uh, Al Sommer on the right. But anyway... Let's, let's just stop talking about how good this guy is. Let's go and get into the highlights and see what this guy can do when we get into a game. Alright then guys, so let's get into these highlights. Now, Al Summer for me was a fantastic card for someone who I wouldn't usually use. The, like, I don't like players who haven't got a lot of pace. I prefer the sweatier players, the ones with a lot of pace, a lot of dribbling, very agile. So I can weave my way in and out of defenders. Al Summer just isn't that. Zlatan as well will never be that. And that's just not my style of play. But for someone who likes these big plays, who likes to play hold up, hold up play, who likes to have long shots, who likes to have a strong, just overall well-rounded striker, someone like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, this card's going to fit you perfectly. Now, he did do well for me, and I don't I don't enjoy that style of FIFA. I did try it at first, try and just play like crossing and play a bit more build-up play, but it just wasn't for me. As for Mino, look at that. Neuer doesn't even move. He doesn't move at all. I don't know how I scored that. I was so happy when that went in. I tried it like three or four times after this as well to see if I could uh, catch Neuer off guard. But it just didn't work um, after that. So it was just a wonder goal. Just absolute luck. Neuer didn't move. I don't know why he didn't save that. It looked like a pretty poor effort. But anyway, back to El Summer. He was a fantastic card. If you like this play, if you play slow build or play, if you're playing in foot champions, I don't know whether you'd use like, unless it's your style of playing, you're really good at it, like slow build or play. I don't think you'd go and use Al Sommer. He's not got the pace. He's not got He's not got what you need to be very, like, I, I say it, but very sweaty and just use, like, try and get every goal possible. That's what I prefer to do. I try and just take my chances. Whereas with Al Sommer, I feel you have to be a little bit slower, build up the play, and then have a, either have a long shot with him um, or just, you know, have a shot, like, get it into the box, build up play, and use your wingers and stuff like that. You can't just use him. He has got the four-star skill moves. Skill moves aren't that effective this year, in my opinion, at least. You guys may be amazing with them. I know there are some, like, really good skillers out there. Um, I've never been too good with skills myself, but that that goal there sums up Al Summer as a card. He is he's very good 
and if he gets on the edge of the area he's putting it in the back of the net if you guys can play with him like god help your opponents because he's so good when he gets to that kind of area he'll finish everything every try and uh, if you're crossing it into him nine times out of ten he's going to get that header and he's going to score the goal and yeah again there just a fantastic goal i really did enjoy his card i'd be interested to try zlatan as well but comparing their in-game stats he does have more in-game stats than zlatan ibrahimovic he's basically just he's just is the cheap zlatan or maybe he's even better than Zlatan, I don't know. I've not personally tried Zlatan this year. As you guys will know if you've watched my cheap Messi video, I tend to go off stats um, to why I call them the cheap player of someone or anything like that. And I mean height and everything like that matches with Zlatan. Everything is just pointing to him being the cheap Zlatan. And uh, he, he was just fantastic. But this team was a... This team as a whole was great, guys. Honestly, Firmino, I'm so happy I put him in. I was going to go and buy Coutinho. Didn't go with it in the end because I thought it was like just maybe a bit of waste of coins. Um, for like, as soon as I had Firmino in the club. And then pff, it was it was the best decision of my life, honestly, guys. That's obviously over-exaggerating. But um, one of the best decisions I've made this year on FIFA-wise to put Firmino in the team other than Coutinho because he was fantastic and uh, Klein as well. Good right back, still not still not edging over walk, but he's still a good right back. But anyway, we are coming to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video around the cheap Zlatan Ibrahimovic. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like on the video. If you want me to do any other cheap player videos, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace.